Hello friends, welcome back to my channel X in and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'll discuss about the Kojak sequence. So to know details about the Kojak sequence, you have to know the translation machinery. So to better understanding, I will draw one picture here, the schematic diagram. So that is the mRNA. So in the mRNA, there is one the in the five prime position. It's a 5 prime region, and here is one cap binding site. Also, here the start codon, in the 3 prime position, also there is one poly A signal, poly A chain. To protect polyester and cap is the function of there is to protect uh, mRNA poly A chain and in so also here in there is one stop codon that is the UGA so in between uh, this is called this frame is called what if open reading frame so it must contain AUG and UGA all right so now here you have to you have to understand that the what is the function of the ribosome. So ribosome actually it's uh, this is the two bind to consist of two subunit. One is small subunit and another one is large subunit. And also it com is consist of rRNA and protein. So main function of the ribosome it it binds uh, in the ribosome binding site. And then it binds actually in the start codon. It scan the sequence and it bind in the start codon, and then it initiate the translation. So this is the main job of the ribosome. So now question is that uh, the the ribosome how it it bind and how it find how it recognize the start codon because start codon is only this very specific sequence. Then how it find the ribosome so the answer is that there is one specific sequence that is the very consensus sequence and that sequence is responsible to find or recognize the the start codon so that is that sequence is known as the kojak sequence that is little upstream of the from the start codon so this is start codon is here so upstream is means like in the 5 prime position little bit left side so here is like and the sequence is the that sequence is ACC ACC and also here one G so this is actually this sequence is actually known as the Kojak sequence. So here is the start codon. So you see here the, the start codon is in within the Kojak sequence. So it contain the Kojak sequence contain the start codon. So now the um, this sequence, this ACC, this is very important, and this sequence actually it uh, in the ribosome, it uh, easily it can recognize because in the rRNA, it has the the complementary sequence of this Kojak sequence, so it easily it can find and recognize it, and then ribosome it gonna bind in the start codon. And then the rest of the process that is the translation initiation it occurs right so this is how this machinery it uh, it's go on so the now main point is that if there is no or uh, con no kojak sequence or if there is any mutation any point mutation in the kojak sequence then what will happen that is the very important part and that is very crucial part 
it uh, that the ribosome it cannot find the start codon effectively so in that case it cannot bind in the start codon and translation is not occurs in this that case so it's not possible to start the translation so researchers they found in in uh, they, they already done many experiments and also and also they found that there are some disease occurs and that disease are responsible for to uh, the point mutation in the kojak sequence so as a result the ribosome they cannot find the proper sequence and translation not occurs so what happened in that case the in the kojak sequence the point mutation like in the c if it is if it is t or if this c it becomes t in that case you see this in that case this the the rrna contain that complementary sequence but they it cannot recognize this sequence properly <coughs> so this kind of there are some disease also there are many kind of disease also it uh, they are responsible for this kind of point mutation for example the graves disease so graves disease this is one of, one of the very uh, common disease and this kind of disease also occurred because of the cd40 cd40 proteins and this cd40 proteins if it is uh, dysregulated and then this kind of autoimmune disease or grave disease occurs so here also it uh, is found that there is some point mutation and also there are some brca1 brca1 this o is one of the cancer in com is in the female that is also the genetic disorder and uh, it also occurs it uh, in because of this kind of point mutation in the kojak sequence so you see this is very important to have to have the kojak sequence in the in this in the in the translation machinery and also in uh, one important part also i would like to mention that if anybody want to um, express any protein or trans any protein in the mammalian system then they uh, it very much important to incorporate the kojak sequence in the plasmid otherwise the translation cannot be possible to start and you will get you may or may not get the um, desired protein and the concentration of the protein also it will be very low or maybe not translated in some cases and also in the kojak sequence um, is only for eukaryotic system eukaryotic this is only for this is only for eukaryote but not in for the prokaryote for the prokaryote there is another kind of sequence in the prokaryote there is another kind of sequence and that sequence is known as the sign dalgarno sequence but sign dalgarno sequence is little bit different um, from the kojak sequence i'm not discussing about the sign dalgarno sequence in this lecture so i will going to be discuss in my next video about the sign dalgarno sequence so this is it so i hope this video will be helpful if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel thanks guys